Well, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Peaks Fishing. We've had some wild weather in Auckland. Um, we've had boats being picked up in marinas, 50-foot boats, and thrown across the other side of the marina during the wind. Greeted boaties. It might seem completely unbelievable, but that 13-ton boat was actually moored all the way over here. Multiple lines were completely severed. The alarm goes off before the car next to it gets pushed right off the wharf and the ute ends up teetering over the edge. Uh, just incredible weather. But the last three days, during this wild weather, there have been workups close into shore. We had northwesterly winds. They pushed all the bait right in. Uh, into shallow water, gannets have been diving, huge area, so we're going to go and check it out today, even if the bait's moved, I'm sort of hoping there'll be some residual snapper uh, hanging around, so uh, yeah, it's uh, a balmy 8 degrees, shoot out to about 12, 13 today, I think there's the high, uh, but no wind, well very light winds anyway, so uh, looking forward to it, excited, the ski's hooked up, I'm meeting a friend today, um, he's actually probably down there by now, because I uh, slept in again. The Well, it actually doesn't look too bad. We just had a heavy downpour of rain. Um, but out where we will be fishing, it's quite clear. So uh, that's encouraging. There's no wind out there, I just checked. It's about three knots blowing. Uh, further out, there's a bit of wind, about 15 knots, but uh, it's not forecast to get up till later in the afternoon for the area that we'll be fishing. So it should be pretty good. So yeah, I'm excited again. I'm excited. And uh, if we can get onto some decent snapper so inshore, in close, that would be a real bonus. And uh, if not, we'll head out wide and just see what's what's floating around. Hey guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, history of the workups, considering it's been you know, such a wild uh, amount of weather. So what we had is nor'westerly winds. So if I zoom out a bit, the winds are coming down this way. They're pounding in all week. And what they had done, and it pushed in bait fish, you know, like large amounts of bait fish into this area here. And this is only eight meters of water, six meters over here. So during the week, even in the extreme weather we had, the uh, gannets were doing massive, massive workups here and feasting up on all the bait fish. So we launched a ski around about here. We came out, had a look at this zone. We found lots of bait fish, but there were no other sign at all. There was no uh, snapper around or you know, kingies or kawa or anything. So we continued on out uh, through the channel here. And as we were going up this area, just around about here, we found quite a bit of sign on the sound of snapper schools. So that's where the video is going to take up now. Um, we both caught snapper. I didn't catch very big ones. Craig, the other chap, he actually caught a couple of uh, better sized ones using a Kabura Lua, an orange, um, which I didn't have. But there we go. Okay, that's where the video takes off. Don't think so. Shit. One's on a soft bait, one's on a uh, jig. You're hooked up as well, eh? Okay, that guy's too small. Yeah, what's this one feel like? Yeah, this feels like a this feels like a better fish.
Right, so we've got uh, three on the cables, but uh, we've just moved in just the back of Waiheke. This is the spot we call Nathan's spot. <laughs> He's a good friend of ours, and uh, he introduced us to this spot some years ago. It's been very productive. And there's some good sign on the sounder here. So you just got to get right. There is an actual spot here, and once you drift off it, it stops working. So... We're in about 17 metres here. Yeah, I've got a half ounce on again. I'm going to get that um, Kabura lure down shortly. Oh, oh, straight in. There we go. Ah, I lost it. Oh. <laughs> right, got him that time. Oh, this is a good fish too. Righto, Nathan, I've got to write you an... you got to write me an invoice, mate, for use of the spot, because this is a good fish. So it's on the little uh, little four ounce again, four inch I should say, half ounce. I'll get the old net ready. Oh, he's a lovely fish. He's a lovely fish. Beautiful, beautiful snapper. He'll be uh, coming home with me if I get him in the slurry now. Well, after fishing Nathan's spot, which I can't show you because if I did, he would probably desex me with blunt garden instruments. But it was the back of Waiheke. We've shot out to the Noisies, which is here, and we fished uh, Takapu Reef and also, you know, down these areas here. Um, nothing too amazing. It was pretty slow fishing, and end up around the back here and once again a little bit slow but um, I'll just take you there now because the scenery on the day was absolutely stunning beautiful out here it truly is a special place Well, although it was a beautiful spot, the uh, fishing was very, very slow, and I received a text from the other Craig saying that he was down between uh, Waiheke and Motatapu and found, had found some good sign of snapper. Uh, that's where he was, roughly, around there, so uh, I decided to go back to that area and join him, and as I was starting to uh, make my trip back, it's not a very long trip, it's probably 20 minutes if you drive slowly. Um, I spotted quite a few boats and looking closely I could see that there actually were gannet workups on, on the north side of Waiheke. So um, once I saw those I just went pretty much flat out to get there as quickly as I could um, and when I got there I contacted Craig to come and have a look. So I'll show you what we were greeted with when we got there. It was just massive, massive, massive workups. So here I am now. I've seen the work up, so I think I'm doing about 85 kilometres an hour to get there. <laughs> and as you can see, just perfect conditions for uh, going very fast on a jet ski. Well, as you can see, there's a few boats here, and as I zoom in, you'll see there's just thousands and thousands of gannets here. These, uh, This is just one part of the work up that I'm showing you now. It was actually spread right across the bay. 
they were going in hard. This was a little bit later in the day, probably another 20 minutes and the wind started to come up. But you can see it was just a you know, pretty intense workup. And uh, underneath that were Kawai, Kingfish and Snow. Watching Peaks Fishing, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> 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 no, I went too far away. Yeah. Adios amigo. Will do. See ya. This is where the workout was just before and this is what I'm using. And I just got a really nice snapper on it. That's it there, you can see the teeth marks on it, it's been well used. So I'll give that a go just here. Got lots of gannets beside me, my friends, there they are. They're a bit tired I think, they've been diving all day, Ooh, probably. Hey! Hey! That you Luke? How are you? I'm good mate, you're good. Well, the workups are still going going crazy, and I'm hooked up on a one of our friendly car wire. And here he comes. Oh no, it's actually yeah, it's a car wire, big car wire. So it's chasing all the bait down there. Oh. <laughs> Big old car boy. I just filmed uh, these fish and it was really curious to see what the workups were. And this is what I dug out of the car boy, guts and that. If I'm not mistaken, there's a pilchard. Judging by the size of it, there's my hand in comparison. Oh, he's gone under the ski. Oh. Good workout for the arms, catching these guys. There he comes. Here. All right, we won't be keeping this guy. One is plenty. Get the old hook out of him. Let him go. And he should be just a bit swim off. There you go, mate. Off you go. And he's away. Well, guys, that's about it for this week. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do now. And I'll be trying to put out a video every week if weather allowing. So I'm just heading back home now, as you can see. 
and apologies for running out of battery. Paul, if you are watching, I'm going to get one of your battery packs you recommend through the uh, jet ski community. It's very challenging uh, changing batteries out at sea, I'm finding. So um, I do have two or three of them, but it's not easy to, to do it. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching once again, and uh, we'll hope to see you all next week.